matters who has had your ear because words are powerful. Words are powerful. They plant seeds that grow like wild flowers. They plant seeds that grow like wild flowers. And I was writing this message. Let me tell y'all something real crazy. When I thought of wild flowers and how words plant seeds that grow like wild flowers, my grandma used to call them cocoa bugs. What the heck is a cocoa bug? <laughs> I'm looking it up on the internet. There ain't no cocoa bug anywhere in Google. I knew exactly what it was, but had no idea how to find it. Words planted. They weren't bad words, but they were just words planted. My mama laughed because she knows just what I'm talking about. What's a cocoa bug? It's a little weed. It's really called a grass weed that has a sticky substance to it that when you throw it, or when you brush up against it, the, the actual seed sticks to your clothing or sticks to your hairs on your body. It doesn't hurt. It's just crazy. It's a cuckoo bug. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Yeah. But I couldn't find that word, but I was able to find it once I started to display some of the characteristics of it. So, so in that, what God began to show me is that sometimes your parents can be your cuckoo bug. Sometimes they can throw some, some things at you that are not what God designed for you. How did I become this way? What about me brought me to this place I'm in right now? Uh, it may have had something to do with some of the things that your parents were saying to you when you were a child. I didn't really know my father that well, but the little bit I knew of him as I was growing up was that I had a whole lot of aunties that wasn't no kin to me. This your aunt such and such. This your aunt such and such. I'm like, well, wow. This dude keep a whole lot of ladies around. <laughs> Every time I see him with a new girl, he driving her car, taking her money. That was the seed he planted. He made it seem like a glamorous life until he became older and lonely and bitter. So I wasn't able to see this because I thought he was a man. I thought my dad was a cheat back in the day, right? But what I started to recognize is that that ain't the lifestyle I want. That's not the person I want to become. So I had to remove the couple books <laughs> or the seeds that he had planted. But then you can't just leave out your parents because your family can do the same thing. Sometimes it's not your mother or your father. It could be that uncle who tried to molest you. Who told you the only way that you could be something is if you gratified him sexually. Or told you not to tell somebody. Or, or that auntie who took advantage of you. Or that grandparent who made you feel like nothing. There are some cocoa bugs out there that need to be removed from your life. Look at your neighbor and say, cocoa bug. Cocoa bug. Jesus. Jesus, but don't, don't, don't just leave it there because there are so many different variables that we have to be cautious of that don't cause us to have an identity crisis. Your spouse, your boo, if some of y'all ain't married, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever the case may be, your boss, your co worker, your co worker. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> hard to find, too. I was on a lost trace of nowhere trying to find a cocoa bug because it does not exist. <laughs> but there it is. And that's the big version of it. They don't, they don't have any prickly things on them or anything. It's really actually small, but they stick to you like glue. Mm. And if you run through a grass patch that has a whole bunch of them, you will come out spotted. Mm. So, so, so look at the significance of that. If you find yourself exposed to a whole lot of negative people or people who have some negative things to say about you, and you run into a situation and you find yourself caught up, this person say, you know what? That's an ugly dress you got on. And this person say, you know what? Why your breath always back? And this person say, you know what? You're so broke. You ain't never going to be nothing. And this person say, you know what? I hate you. You're stupid. By the time you get right here, you walk this slow. You walk around like a look. You're trying to figure out what happened to you. How you got so short. You got to remove the cocoa bugs from your life so you can stand with a straight posture that God is designed for you. Ah! What happened? What happened? How did I get these cocoa bugs on me? But then you know what's even worse? Sometimes there's going to be some that you just can't reach. There'll be one on your back that you didn't
didn't even recognize it there. So you gotta have some good people in your life, like your spouse, your significant other. Get that off my back, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all don't hear me? Yeah. You ain't got nobody in your corner who can signify your identity in Christ. You in trouble. You wouldn't desire to. This is going to be some areas in your life that you just can't touch. That you're going to need a good woman or a man of God or a friend of God who can speak the words into your life that you need to hear. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Shake off the couple books. And as you shake, go to the next slide, huh?